At a recent Chenrizik Project online gathering, our weekly Dharma Bridge meet, we were sharing a discussion of the Diamond Sutra and focused on the notable passage in which Siddhartha instructs the monk Sabuti how best and most wisely to consider the impermanence of all compounded phenomena, otherwise known as anything and everything. This ancient wisdom text, also known as the Perfection of Wisdom that Cuts Like a Diamond Sutra, is one of the Mahayana's central scriptures. We have revisited it numerous times through the years. Surely the notion of remaining mindful of the challenges of impermanence in this teaching, life is compared to a flash of lightning in a summer cloud or a fragile bubble floating on a stream, was not new to anyone in attendance. Until instinctive awareness begins to manifest, reactions to impermanence set many of our challenges into motion, swirling into what Siddhartha termed mind states of dukkha, Ignorance sourced confusions and complications leading to discontent, stress, anxiety, catchword suffering. Everything is changing, grossly and or microscopically, always. Objects and events, sometimes so subtly that any change is unnoticeable, at other times dizzying in speed and intensity. Our hair thins, turns gray, and, or upon falling out, ceases to regrow, or begins growing in unexpected and undesired body places. Adorable kids become less so as they grow up. Our shiny car gets dented. Relationships mature and strengthen or decay. 65 mile per hour on the highway grinds to a halt behind the sea of taillights. People and things that excite us one day bore us the next. Tasty ice cream melts. Memories become lost or altered. Mental attitudes change. We forget the tones of the voices of departed loved ones. Excitements and angers arise and then fade away. In the scale of a lifetime, the progression is inescapable. Birth, aging, maturity, decay, death. Always advancing, moment by moment, breath by breath. Nothing is excluded. Anything we can point to as this or that. All compounded phenomena which everything individually and collectively is, places, events, material forms, people, bodies, even consciousness, our feelings, thoughts, and dreams are in continuous flux. You might find it helpful to regard all phenomena as occurring rather than solidly existent. Everything from momentary flashes of lightning to the seemingly eternal Rocky Mountains arise, abide, decay, and then ultimately cease to be as its parts and pieces transmute into aspects of other occurrences. Of course, time-scaled perspectives of lightning bolts and mountains do differ, but the natural law of ongoing change does not. All is impermanent occurring, being made and unmade, coming together and falling apart, including, as meditation practice clearly illustrates, our own moments of mind. Indeed, when it comes to the impermanence of mind, the word splendid is appropriate. Splendid? Why splendid? Because the mind Vast and flowing is limitless in its potential and ongoing functions. It creates and infuses into our consciousness every moment of our experience, each the basis upon which the next arises and abides. Insights, discoveries, overcoming obstacles, embarking in new directions, moving beyond troublesome emotions, cultivating and sharing kindness, compassion, 
generosity, patience, joy, bodhicitta, even the realizations that lead to full awakening can occur. What splendid opportunities impermanence allows. That's right, opportunities. Each moment of experiential now is a new one, a reshuffling and redealing of the relationship between our environment, perspectives, and purpose, presenting an always new directional set of mind cards to play. If not for impermanence, everything would remain stuck unmoving, never growing, never aging, never changing, never evolving, frozen in the moment, exactly the same, no past, present, or future, forever. Imagine, or better yet, meditate upon an existence in which time does not move, stagnant and immutable, dead. By comparison, impermanence is refreshingly alive, vast, lovely, wonderful, outpourings of possibility, fluid, unfolding, blossoming. Merging ongoing awareness with the architecture of impermanence, perspectives of time clarify. We see the past as interpretation and the future as illusion. Time itself and the movement of ourselves through it is not a straight line running from past through present and into the future. Rather, we understand that time moves within and through us, and we through it in endless curlicues and spirals. Impermanence, changeability, flow, moment by moment. It is the greatest show on earth, the grand carnival, alive and playing in your mind. A rushing stream of perceptions and opportunities bursting forth and center for your and others' benefit. So the next time a friend or partner or neighbor or coworker says to you in a resigned voice, you know, that's just the way I am. I can't change. Be gentle, and if you feel it wise to do so, kindly create space for a perceptual escape hatch. Bring forth atmosphere and conditions for him or her to understand less narrowly, more vastly, deeply with practicality, creatively, imaginatively, differently, if just for that moment. Do so in a manner that is virtuous, accessible, and complete, shared in a spirit of generosity, skillfully without I know better, pretense, lecture, or tedious intellectual weight. This is your life. Lean into it. Allow yourself to be joyful in the knowledge that due to the splendid grace of impermanence, the mind's natural essences of freedom and fertility are spontaneously fluent. All the pieces and methods necessary for wholesome change are in place, ready to blossom. And that to become a butterfly, one simply has to be drawn to fly so intuitively that they're willing to move beyond being a seemingly comfortably chrysalis caterpillar. This recording, Splendid Impermanence, was written and read here by Mark Winwood. Mark, that's me, teaches in the Contemplative Psychology Department at Naropa University in Boulder, Colorado and is the founder of the Chenrizik Project, a Tibetan Buddhist study and practice group with a national online presence. You can learn more about the Chenrizik Project at www.chenrizikproject.org. That's C-H-E-N-R-E-Z-I-G project.org. For those interested in participating in our Wednesday online via Zoom Dharma Bridge events, please send an email to me 
at mwinwood, M-W-I-N-W-O-O-D, at gmail.com. The background music, titled Run With You, was composed and performed by the San Francisco Bay Area musician Bobby Vega and appears on his 2017 album, Matters of the Heart. Bobby's reputation for musical feel is legendary, and with this album he shares how transitions and melody can be expressed in creatively new ways on acoustic bass where slight variations in feel, touch, and timing can speak volumes emotionally. You can learn more about Bobby and his music at his website, www.bobbyvega.com, that's B-O-B-B-Y-V-E-G-A.com, or, as he's very findable online, you can simply Google his name or look for his numerous videos on YouTube. We remain grateful to Bobby for his friendship, his talents, and his generosity in sharing his fine music with our listeners. Please feel free to share the link to this with those you feel it might resonate. And thank you for listening.